If the armed forces of Ukraine receive Tatakam's missiles, they will be able to hit targets within a radius of 300 kilometers. This is about four times more than the missiles used by the HIMARS mobile systems, which the US began supplying to Ukraine last year. Atacams, American tactical ground-to-ground -ground ballistic missiles, their purpose is to hit point targets. They can be used with missile systems such as M270, HIMARS and other modifications. We really need them. If we don't have aviation, how can we defeat the enemy's defenses? Atacams is a rocket that is used from ground systems in salvo fire. In order to fulfill the tasks that we set ourselves, complete the occupation, restoration of full sovereignty of the borders of 1991, there must be much more weapons, and in order to achieve this, there must be both long-range missiles and aviation. Experts are sure that the provision of Atacams to Ukraine can change the course of the war, Russia will not have a chance to win. Realizing this, Moscow initiated a meeting of the UN Security Council and accused the West of supplying weapons to Kyiv. According to the Kremlin, this exacerbates the conflict. Washington responded to Russian rhetoric. Robert Wood, deputy permanent representative of the United States to the United Nations, said that these weapons do not continue the war, for which only the Kremlin bears responsibility, but allows them to protect civilian Ukrainians and prevent further brutality. The United States and more than 50 member states responded to Ukraine's call to support its defense against Russian aggression, and we will continue to do so for as long as it takes. Robert Wood, Deputy Permanent Representative of the United States to the United Nations. And the Allies are stepping up support for Ukraine. Germany recently announced a new military aid package. Positions include 16 Zetros trucks, a TRML-4D radar, a demining system, three bridges, for a barrel bridge layer, and two border guard vehicles. Denmark has allocated more than $190 million for the purchase of artillery shells. The aid package will also include air defense missiles. In the coming month, the Allies will work on a plan to supply fighter jets to Ukraine, said Jake Sullivan, national security advisor to the President of the United States. For successful advancement at the front, Ukraine definitely needs F-16 jets. Commander-in-chief of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Valery Zaluzhny, is sure. Let's just say the number of aircraft that are on duty near our western borders is twice as much as the number of Russian aircraft devastating our positions. Why can't we take at least a third of it from there and move it here? I do not need 120 planes. I'm not going to threaten the whole world. A very limited number would be enough, but they are needed because there is no other way, because the enemy is using a different generation of aviation. It's like we'd go on the offensive with bows and arrows now, and everyone would say, are you crazy? But with this question, no, no. Valery Zaluzhny, commander-in-chief of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, in an interview to the Washington Post. Ukraine is also increasing its own production of weapons to repel the Russian aggression. Systems of the necessary weapons, air defense, tanks, guns, armored vehicles supplied by partners we strive to produce and localize in Ukraine. Our warriors will always have weapons, and I propose this principle for the Ukrainian doctrine its global security component, not to guess what to expect from Russia, but to be ready for any evil, so that any evil in the Russian Federation is always sure that it will lose to Ukraine. Reported by Roman Smoller, Victoria Smirnova, UA TV News.